today is February 25th, 2018, and this is your daily blog number 45. Um, just want to give it a quick shout out. We're at 5,014 subscribers. Thank you, thank you very much again. Sincerely appreciate all your support. Uh, today, I just wanted to go over some news and sort of this week's information and some of the key points that I thought were important out throughout the week. And this is the first one, first piece of information, uh, Putin fully endorsing the blockchain and cryptocurrencies. I think that's a very important point. Um, I also, uh, from listening and hearing, I know Russia is a big miner of cryptocurrencies. And I, I, I know they don't want to miss out in potential innovation, potential uh, earnings in their country and their uh, GDP as a whole. Uh, if they're not part of the cryptocurrency market, um, I know uh, Japan, China, I, I know they feel the same way where they feel like it will make uh, it will impact their GDP because it, the technology is solid, guys. So you got to consider that when anyone questions you about cryptocurrency, you just say, well, blockchain is amazing. And it's mostly like going to be a, a, we're going to be most likely adopting that technology no matter what. It's, it's a matter of when, right? So uh, another key point of information of this week is uh, Volkswagen in co um, cooperation with IOTA. Now, IOTA got a lot of new partnerships or announced a lot of new partnerships, but their point price hasn't increased too much. I think maybe about 25%. Let's go ahead and take, well, let me go ahead and take a look at my portfolio. And I own some IOTA, not much, got about maybe, uh, let's see here, $200 worth of IOTA. But uh, it looks like I got a slight jump, uh, but it's not that impressive. Um, let's take a look at the charts. Now, IOTA is a really solid product if, you know, for anybody else that doesn't know IOTA. I mean, it's just the price hasn't increased that much. But IOTA as a product is one of the ones that I feel very um, promising in the future. They have a great product, guys. And uh, they have a lot of use cases. The use cases they're trying to tackle is just so, so large. And just look at the price and some hype, and it just fizzled out it looks like uh, next piece of information uh, we could quickly go over is um, this one is actually I thought it was pretty big Bank of America um, according to its SEC hearings or filings they are stating that cryptocurrency is a threat okay and that's a big deal. You got to consider Bank of America is probably the largest financial institution. Um, and then if they think cryptocurrency is a threat, I mean, wow, that that's a big deal. Uh, you know what this reminds me of, guys? When Bill Gates said Google kicked our butts uh, back in 2004. It feels just about the same. I mean, not completely because it wasn't a public announcement by the CEO. But that's the first remark that got in my head. And look where Google's at today, right? When uh, Bill Gates said, hey, Google kicked our butts in 2004. They're one of the biggest corporations in the world. So when I heard this, this is the first thing that came up into my mind. And that could be a potential saying that, hey, cryptocurrency is going to be uh, the future. And I believe in it. Um, hopefully you guys do too. Uh, some other interesting things about this specifically. And one of the big things I got out of it for me personally, and there's a lot of quotes in there, but this is the quote that I want to go ahead and read to you guys. Additional, additionally, the competitive landscape may be impacted by the growth of non-depository uh, institutions that offer products that were traditionally banking products as new innovative, new innovative products. This can in, uh, reduce our net interest margins and revenues from our fee-based products. Key term here, fee-based products and services. Right. I mean, and this is from investorpedia.com. All right. It's, that's what cryptocurrency is about. We're trying to remove the middleman. And this already sort of already explains that situation. Now, I feel like middleman is going to still exist for a very long time. And I'm, gonna, I'm sure Bank of America is going to find their way inside cryptocurrency because they don't want to be left behind. They, they need to adopt the technology like everyone else eventually probably would. OK, so they're not going to be. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and adopt. Uh, they were also talking about how they need to um, invest in technology as well as, you know, adapt to the new technology. And it's going to cost them a lot of money based upon that. Okay. So uh, I guess that's pretty much it for the video today. I, oh, and last but not least, I wanted to cover this on another video. But let me go ahead and show you guys what I did with Profit Trailer Magic. And for anybody that's following me on PT Magic. Some of the things I have done, and this took a lot of time to sort of figure out, but I've entered, I've 
added some additional information. Notice that I have now the 48, 48 hour relative as well as the 96 hours. And this is my pump and dump protection. If any coin is increased uh, by 7% in the 96 hour period, I don't want to trade it. Now, um, I need to wait 96 hours in order for this to kick in. So I need to wait four days. Uh, I'll be adjusting this uh, as time goes on. I might even remove the 96 hours, but the one thing, so this is how I'm, I'm doing my uh, work on this. Let me go ahead and show you. I recently bought LUN, okay? And look at this LUN. It, it pumped up real high and went down. So I did a panic sell on this coin. Um, and it only DCA'd once, but I just wanted to sort of start tweaking my PT Magic based upon the buys that it doesn't. I, I don't personally like. Like buying LUN was a mistake. So what did I do? Well, down here below, you can see here setting. I called it negative eight percent. And in here, if any coin between the ninety-six hour, the forty-eight hour, or the twenty-four twelve or one hour of that specific coin is at negative eight percent on any of those that means it turn out uh sell only mode equals true dc uh all dca uh enable equal false on that specific coin the all actually gets replaced with the coin name okay and just to give you guys an idea how that works let me go ahead and, this is my paris file in pt magic and if i go scroll down let me look for um the specific one lun you see that so and going back to now, I'll go ahead and show you guys. Let me see here. Let me go ahead and show you guys PT Magic and see what is about to buy, just so you guys get an idea. Because I don't want to buy too much. Um, I, I want to limit my bots purchase on buys. And you can see all these are sell only mode enabled right now. Because I'm being very, very picky on my buys. And, and I'm okay with that. And right now, there's nothing for it to buy. Okay, and I'm I'm fine with that current value. Um, yeah, that's sell only mode enabled. So and Monero looks good. All right, and then if I look at the pairs that it just bought, it just bought Nano based upon my metrics. Um, the, the time is uh, four thirty eight, but uh, that's uh, universal uh, standard time. And that's I think moments ago. So this looks like yeah positive, and it just bought it. Okay, so hopefully. Let's take a look at the graphs. Just, you know, um, uh, let me see if it gets a quick turnaround, guys. That'd be really cool if it is. Uh, we could show you guys live. Let's go to the five minute margin. And I could probably tell you uh, based upon, yeah, my bot probably bought it around here. Somewhere around here, I probably bought it. Um, I can't really tell based upon this graph, but if I go to Trading View, maybe I'll get a better example. Oh, I actually got Trading View Pro recently, so I could do better charts. Um, and in the future, I'll be able to do better charts. Also, Discord, there'll be a link down below. But uh, I don't know if hopefully it does pass this and uh, my bot's able to sell it. Okay, so just wanted to just give you some information about what I've done with PT Magic and just some modifications with PT Magic and how it's preventing. A lot of my bias on my bot right now. All right. And I'm going to slowly expand on it and make more aggressive buys and buys associated with everything else. I also did a cross reference with uh, Crypto Gnomes PT Feeder and compare it to PT Magic, so my settings. And there wasn't much in it. The only thing that was a little bit different was EME gain strategy on a, a bullish run. But I want to be a little bit more detailed with my settings. And I'm going to go scour around the internet and see if anyone else has some settings. And I could go ahead and steal their ideas and incorporate it in my own. Well, anyways, I've been talking a little bit too much. Uh, thank you for subscribing, watching the video. And please uh, thumbs up and leave a comment down below because I read every single one of them. Hey, thanks, guys.